Hi, this is James Headley with the Living in Naples channel. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Today's going to be the monthly regular statistics update for the real estate market in Naples and Marco Island. So thanks for tuning in. Thank you as well for liking, subscribing, and sharing. And please do reach out anytime if you'd like more granular data on particular communities, other areas in Southwest Florida or in uh, Southeast Georgia. And uh, I would be happy to help you and uh, assist you with your real estate needs in any way, shape, or form. So with that, let's dive right in on the most recent activity in the Naples and Marco Island real estate markets. Starting with Naples on the listing side, there are 2,290 homes for sale at the time of this recording at the beginning of August. That's up about 100 from July 1st. The median list price of those nearly 3,000 homes is $749,700, which is down just over $25,000 since last month. At $394 per square foot, the dollar per square foot average is also down, in this case, about $15 from last month. Those homes have been on the market for an average of 53 cumulative days, which is up 13 days from last month. So homes are staying on the market a little longer in Naples than they have been. In Marco, there are 253 homes available at the time of this recording, which is down 22 from last month. The median listing price there is 1.5 million, which is virtually unchanged since last month. And with a decline of just $7 per square foot to $788 per square foot on Marco, it's a completely stable situation there in terms of the pricing. But what isn't quite as stable is that homes on Marco have stayed on market for 24 days longer on average than they were at this time last month, now sitting at 81 cumulative days on the market for the Marco listings. Keep in mind that we're in a traditionally slower part of the season now in Southwest Florida in terms of the real estate season. We shouldn't read too much into these numbers, but what I can say with some certainty is that there is definitely some consistency here with some of the recent videos that I've recorded talking about a rebalancing in the market, a softening of the market it a bit. We definitely have gone from the one end of the, the spectrum of the completely seller dominated market to now we are moving back toward balance. We're not quite there yet, but we're certainly moving in that direction, getting a little more stability in the market. I wouldn't expect us to see a buyer's market anytime in 2022, probably not even in 2023, but we're definitely getting back to greater balance between buyers and sellers. As always, I'll, I'll keep you updated every month with these updates and other special updates as I see significant trends happening in the market. And again, please do reach out if you have questions about any specific areas or about any of these numbers. Now let's turn to the sales side of things, to those homes that were sold during the month of July. In Naples, there were 635 such sales. And that was down almost 300 properties from June. There were 34 in Marco, which was down 76 from the June numbers. On Naples, those homes sold for a median price of $550,000, which was down $67,000 since last month. That was down $11 a square foot to $332 per square foot on those. A two bedroom, two bath home in the manufactured 55 and over community of Westwind Estates was the least expensive sale in Naples in July, coming in at just under $150,000. At the other end of the spectrum, a new build in Port Royal sold for just under 20 million, making it the most expensive transaction in Naples during the month. On Marco, the median selling price was $750,000, which was down just over $77,000 from last month. The dollar per square foot there declined as well from an average to an average of $595 per square foot, which was down $53 from last month's median. The least expensive home on Marco that sold in July was a two bedroom in Marco Villa, which sold for $235,000. The most expensive was again, new, new construction, a new build in this case in Hideaway Beach, and that sold for $9.5 million. As we turn to just the single family home side of things, in Naples, there were 304 single family homes sold in the month of July, which was down 110 from June at a median selling price of $747,000. That was down $38,000 from June. 
On Marco, there were just 10 single family home sales recorded at a median selling price of 1.525 million, which was down over 300,000 from last month, but with an end of just 10, definitely not something to read into. Let's just wait and see if the trend holds or returns to more, uh, more stability there in coming months. As always, I appreciate you tuning in. Again, thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing. And please do reach out anytime if I can be of any assistance with your real estate needs. Thank you, and I will see you in the next episode.